92.7 WOBM with the County Crows. Vanessa Carlton on your Wednesday morning. Sean Michaels in with you. It's 840 right now, 29 degrees. And joining us from Ocean County Tourism, Dana Lancelotti is in for her visit to keep us up to date on what's happening. Good morning, Dana. Good morning, Sean. How are you? I am good. We are heading into St. Patrick's weekend this weekend. A lot going on. And we're getting closer to springtime. Yes, we are. It's right around the corner. How exciting. So uh, Lorita this weekend is celebrating St. Patty's Day, of course, right? Mm Um, they have a lot going on, though. They're, they're still carrying through that Winterfest thing, so they're, they're pulling the winter through until the very end here. But So they're combining a Winterfest celebration with St. Patty's. So they're going to have the um, outdoor wine tasting and indoor. They're going to have tent areas. They'll have all, all the gourmet food trucks, of course. And they're going to have fireworks on Saturday night, which is wonderful. So you don't get to see those much this year. Another thing that they're adding, which I think is cute, is um, the Howling Woods Farm visitors. Yeah. Do you ever go out there to Howling Woods? I've heard they of it, the but wolves. I haven't been out there. Yeah, so I suppose they're going to have wolves on site. Oh, um, that should be really cool, right? That is so you've neat. got wolves, shamrocks, wine. I don't know. It's quite a combination out it there. It is this an weekend. interesting combination. And that's <laughs> all happening at Lorita Winery in New Egypt this weekend. Yes. All right, cool. Then there's the uh, the Strand Center of the Arts is having the Almost Queen in concert on St. Patty's Day as well. Mm-hmm. That's at 8 p.m. and that's going to have elaborate lighting effects and costumes and a real queen experience. That should be very cool. And then next week um, on the 24th, they're going to have an evening of dance with the Atlantic City Ballet, which is beautiful. They do a good job there with that. They really do. At the Planetarium over at Ocean County College, they're doing a Laser U2 performance for St. Patty's Day. That wonderful Irish band that yes. we've loved since the Very 80s. appropriate. So, yeah, they're doing a laser show with U2. And um, and also on that day, on St. Patty's, Patty's Day morning, they do these pajama parties for the kids. Yeah. Um, so at 11 a.m., they do one that's for pre-K. And then at 12.30, they have one for five and over. And uh, that should be really fun. They come, the kids come in their jammies, and um, they get to see a show. Um, so that's something fun to do during the day with the kids. At the Grunin Center, there's a great performance called. Um, it's a musical called "The World Goes Round." They're doing that uh, actually starting tomorrow night, the 15th through the 17th, um, and it's going to feature songs from Candor and Ebb. They were a um, very celebrated writing team for many years, Tony Award winning. They had songs from Chicago Cabaret, um, the song New York, New York. They're going to be playing a lot of, uh, they're going to be a lot of people performing different music um, from their songbook. So that should be a great show that's happening uh, this weekend. And on Thursday, the 22nd, Ricky Lee Jones will be at the Grennan Center. And then on Saturday, the 24th, they have Art Rages, which I mentioned last time, which is a really creative interactive experience, um, artistic imagery, along with all of the different choreography and music. So Mm -hmm. it sounds like a very cool show to go to. Okay, so here's the real fun. So you just mentioned spring. Believe it or not, everything is opening next weekend. Okay. The 24th and 25th, Casino Pier and Jenkinson's Boardwalks are both opening up. We are finally there, Sean. It's finally happening. They're getting ready for their big egg hunts and everything, too, right? So Yes. So Saturday, they open the rides. And then on Sunday, they have their Easter egg hunts at both locations, Casino Pier and Jenkinson's. So Seaside and Point Pleasant Beach will both be celebrating that we are finally opening up for the season. And also... Another big one, Six Flags Great Adventure opening weekend is the 24th and 25th Mm -hmm. as well. And they'll be open on Saturday, 1030 to 8, Sunday, 1030 to 6, all kinds of great stuff. And they also have a new ride that they're constructing, so you can go and get a glimpse of that construction happening. Go enjoy Six Flags and also the safari as well. And Saturday, there's a live Irish show. That's happening on the 24th, so a week after St. Patty's Day at Albert Music Hall in Waretown. And don't forget that they're open every Saturday night. All through the year, you can go see concerts at um, the Albert Music Hall. And so that Saturday is going to be the Irish show. So we're still celebrating St. Patty's Day a week later. Then New Egypt Raceway is also open. They've got races going on the weekend of the 24th. And there's the Wellness Expo, which is happening over at Georgian Court University. That's the weekend of the 24th as well. 50 holistic integrative wellness practitioners and lectures and workshops. That's a cool experience. I want to mention the Island Beach Distillery, um, the rum distillery that we have down in um, Forked River. Mm-hmm. They actually had a, an incident back at Christmas time. There was a fire. Um, the owners were injured. It was a long. It's been a long recovery and getting their their whole 
uh, operation back on underway. So they are now open again. They have tastings. They have cocktails. They have bottle sales. So please go visit the Island go Beach support distillery. them. Yes, they're open on the weekends. Uh, also, every Sunday, uh, we have live animal talks and Discovery Nature Walks at Jake's Branch County Park. Don't forget our beautiful parks. And also at Caddis Island, there are live animal talks, turtle feeding, nature walks. All of that goes on every Sunday over at Caddis Island. Caddis is a cool place. Really cool. And one last thing, don't forget the joint base, uh, McGuire Dix Lakehurst. Over on the Lakehurst side, they have the Heritage Center, and they have wonderful tours. You can call up and, and sign up for a tour, get yourself um, a pass to get on the base that day to to discover all kinds of cool things that they have um, honoring the military and honoring the, our um, airship history there over at Lake Herside. Very nice. And I had a story that I did today, and I was thinking of you while I was doing this. The Winter's Farmer's Market yes. is happening today in Tom's River. Yes, it is. Yes. yes. So noon to 5, they're normally open, but then they extend it all the way till 8 o'clock tonight at the shops at 53 Main. Right. Okay, that's awesome. And another thing that you had on our friend Ken Malgier yes. from Ocean County College yes. Foundation, Tusk is coming. I did mention that at another um, yeah. report. That's a great, this could be a it's coming beautiful up in April, concert. Yeah. Yes. That's going to be a lot of fun. Go they got that. a lot of great shows over there. So lots of good stuff going on. But yeah, the farmer's market today, and then, uh, you know, they'll be uh, out there till 8 o'clock tonight. So it's indoors, too. So, you know, you'll stay nice and warm Absolutely. when you go over there. Dana, thanks so much. If we want more details on what's happening here at the shore, what do we do? OceanCountyTourism.com. And in the middle of the page, you can get the upcoming events and highlights of this week and next. Very good. And Thanks, by, everybody. And by the time we have you in here next time, we're really getting into it. Yes. It'll be almost, Yay. I guess it'll almost, will it be Easter? No, almost. Close. We'll be a couple of days away. Yes, yes. We'll be back and we'll have more coming up with WOBM. Hi, welcome to the Pier 1 Spring Dining and Easter Sale. Oh, 